Hello there, I'm Crystallized Hearts, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Grundia! You blow me away! Oh, I don't know what the hell I've been listening to, but in this part, we're gonna go ahead and continue on with the uh, Land of the Valley Dragon, and there's only money up there, so... Why do we need money if we have to fight an enemy? Don't see any point in that. Really don't. So, we're now gonna head into the fourth area. As I said earlier, we have mana eggs. Remember that. And blow that boulder out of the way. Just magically. Um, yeah. Screw the rules. I have, I have money. Screw the rules. Just screw the rules. And hello there. And we're back. Uh, let's get this money back. This should be probably a little bit of money right there. And... Hello there! And we're back to find another one. And so we're back. Um, oh, there's our mana egg right there. Just a random guess. Honestly, that that was a random guess. I did not think it was going to be there. So we're going to throw it automatically into Godwin's uh, inventory. And we'll pick that up here in a moment. Um, do not want to trigger that. And if I can know how to get to this village correctly, there we go. It, there's really not much in the F Valley of the Flying Dragon, and we're in the, now what I would like to call it, the Lost World. As, I think this has, um, so one of its meaning, pretty much it's on the other side of the world. People think it's dead. I mean, both sides think that either side, on the other side of it, they're dead don't exist anymore, that kind of stuff. So pretty much this is what I like to call Region 2. There is, um, as I'm going to say before we head in here, there's four regions in this game, so we're kind of like about the second quarter of the game, so let's head into Dite Village and uh, get through some dialogue and stuff. Now look how big, the town's not that big, so... This is Dite Village, there's an inn right over there, I thought I'd guide you there, but... Um, just before we continue as well, pretty much just, to, um, relate this to New Parm. The city is going to be like, kind of like New Parm, pretty much your main town in this area, so... Hmm, what's wrong, Godwin? Something I noticed earlier, <clears throat> Clouds from the north are blanking the skies. Hi, uh, the sky sure does look strange. Looks like a rainstorm is coming. Hmm, please excuse me, but I must go talk with the elder. Why don't you have a look at the sights here in Dite Village? And then he just runs off and leaves us. This is weird. <laughs> he's gone already. I guess he's in a big hurry. Strange, though. He's concerned about a rainstorm on the way. But it is true. There is some. There is something going to uh, happen, and I think. Did he run off with? All, yeah, he did run off with the mana eggs. My bad. So pretty much, uh, just get a good idea of this whole town. Over here will probably be your main section. Like, this. I think this is your weapon store, all this kind of stuff. So, I'm gonna gear up in this episode as well. So. Hey, I haven't seen you around, so what you think of my goods? Go ahead, pick up, let's pick stuff up, check it out. And if you have anything you don't need, turn it in at the counter. Which we'll definitely need to do. Now, now items here. Do be picky about your, uh, your money, because even though there is a dragon axe sitting there for 10k, look at how much you only have. So, it wouldn't be really suggestive to already go greedy over that, but I made the simple mistake of giving Godwin one when I was uh, here originally, but, so let's see. Look at that, it gives 38 but knocks off 10. It's really powerful, but yet, don't want to really uh, work with that yet. Choose win. Ooh. <laughs> 
I'm gonna upgrade uh, her weapon. Let's see. I would have to sell hers, so um I am gonna trade uh Justin's out for now. So we'll get that out of the way. So now heading over to Shields. I honestly should be doing this off camera, but you know, I feel like maybe you should, guys should get a kind of a feeling what what I'll be doing. It this area right here, I'll tell you this. It will be like the major area where you're gonna be switching everything out. So I mean, uh, trade. Everyone's stuff is gonna get switched out. So defense and everything's gonna go up. I just already made a costly mistake. Lovely on camera, so let's get that out of the way. Shoes. Now, I'm not going to switch the shoes out for one reason. I like to keep the move. That's what I like to do. Trade. Um, these are barely just going to bump us up. Now let's switch out skull armor with the uh, Justin and Fina, even though I did just make a horrible investment by being a dirt nugget, but let's see what's also in the uh, miscellaneous uh, right here. Dynamite, uh, my, my chroma, ooh, that $50 party, hmm, that could come in handy. Now we're starting to get some resurrection potions starting to come in. Bam fruit. This is why uh, some stuff is going to start popping up that's going to be really useful. Also, you got to be kind of picky about that. So, I think uh, in between uh, episodes, I'm going to sell some stuff. So, we'll probably head over there. So, get some stuff out of the way. So let's see. Well, looks like diet is done for. Everyone's so depressed. It's like we have they they have already died. Weird. Maybe we can find where God went with this. Hmm. So let's see. I know what the village. Uh, Dr. Alma's clinic. Let's stop by our clinic. Let's see if she's in. Let's see if she's in. Let's see. Oh, Shiri, did you come to visit me? I just finished treating a patient. I suspect that the Typhoon Tower is responsible for these illnesses. I see a lot of patients, and my suspicions become stronger each day. I don't think I'm mistaken. It's going to get busier around here later. You folks be sure to get plenty of rest. So some, there's a disturbance in the Typhoon Tower. I have a funny feeling that we're going to be heading there next. Let's see. Hmm. Ow, ow, my back aches, even though uh, Dr. Alma just treated me. Are you okay, Gramps? Uh, yeah, I'm okay, kid. It's always like this nowadays. I'm always like that every nowadays. Dur -dur -dur. So, let's find uh, the village uh, leader's house. Should be on this side, actually. So, would it be here? No. I just accidentally entered someone's house. My bad. <laughs> so, let's head back out. Also, I do apologize for not uploading an episode yesterday. I was really not in the... I was really not feeling well. Just really didn't feel... I really just didn't feel good, so... I mean, didn't get much sleep, and then I just... It dawned on me, oh, I need to record, but I was too tired anyway, so... Let's see. Oh, we're heading uh, for big trouble here. If it starts raining, right, you are Godwin, but will it really rain? I can't say for sure, but when I look at those clouds, I feel cold shiver run down my spine. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I got more talking to do. 
It's rather an urgent matter. If you could wait over... If you could wait for me over there, I'll join you after my talk with the Elder. I'm assuming... Who are you? I'm the village leader. Is there something you need? Please excuse us, but we're discussing a crucial matter now. Will you kindly come back later? Yeah. I think they don't want us inside. But getting the gist of the details, something's not right here. And it's definitely not. There's something not right about it, so... Uh, check around for stuff. I don't know. There's not really anything around here, so. So. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, hmm. So he's gonna plan to head over to the end. So I guess we should just walk over to the end, just relax, just have a little bit of relax. I. I do have somewhat of a hazy mind with this area, so... But once I get used to this area, I probably will uh, remember some of the stuff. It's been a while since I've played this area, so... Hmm, let's see. I took uh, some medicine to Dr. Alma, but it's uh, not nearly enough. Hmm. Gonna have to make a two trips. But you know, everyone gets a better with my medicine. Just warms in my heart and fills in my wallet. But don't you think it's wonderful? Huh? Um, I don't know. I guess. Well, everyone is a happy. Isn't that just a wonderful? No. Psst, what's a wit of you guys? You keep a calling me rabbit. Rabbit. From a, my point of view, you guys are from a, the other side of the wall. You're the stranger looking ones. Huh? How did you know that we came across the wall? Who are you? I'm Guido of Zil Padden. A traveling a salesman traveling throughout the world. Now I'm gonna note it right here. You will see him again. Trust me, you will see him again. Hey, you guys uh, know an old saying that us uh, Mugay. We like to say, uh, how, uh, you know it. I don't care about old sayings, but I, I would like to tell, like you to tell us how you know, got to know us so much, got to know so much about us. D uh, don't you say everyone is a born a part, a part of a in a life. Same does a, uh, goes a for you, Justin. Well, as I said, I don't care much. Hey, you even know my name? Us at Mogay, we know everything. It's a me. I'm a Mogay. <laughs> I have this funny feeling that he has an Italian accent, and I'm not going to ready to pull that out. Justin, if you want to uh, want to know uh, lots of answers, you're gonna have to keep a keep traveling. When you go uh, when you go traveling, you're gonna learn a lot of things about the world, the spirits, and a uh, and a use. So hey, I gotta go. Gotta get get a ready to leave or else uh, I got no time to stock my goods uh, wait a minute just tell me one thing do you Mogi know anything about Lent for now let me just say this we know some things but we ain't gonna tell nothing hey you're gonna keep traveling I'm sure we're gonna meet up again and then we could talk some more It's true. You will find him again. So, I mean, let's. I'm going to end it off right here so I can get some uh, sailing done and then we're going to head into the next part. So, 
This is Chris Last Heart signing out. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next part.